well, the, one of the hard parts for me is when I'm paving, is I've got to make the sub base. Putting down the pavers is pretty easy, it's all the prep work. Uh, what I've got to do today is put down some timbers that are going to be my, I don't know what you call them, but they're planks that you lay down. And then I'll put soil between them and I'll scrape that soil level. I'll have to compact it and probably add more soil. figure out how much fill to put in, screen it level, compact it, level it out again, and then be ready for pavers. I'm going to put these stakes in the ground, I'm going to put my string line out, and I'm going to allow about three inches for the pavers going to be. And that's for the sub base will be sticking out beyond the pavers a bit. Later on I can clean it out and put in my retainers. This piece of wood that I put up are not the boundaries of the pavers very much. They're, they're outside those boundaries because this is where I'm going to put the underlay, the crushed limestone. So that's why it's kind of vague. It's not exact. I'll take you for a tour. From the patio, it's going to blend into the circle. The driveway circle is going to be crushed limestone with a paver border. And those pavers will join up about where this corner is and it'll follow the curve of that rock that's there. Stepping onto the front patio. It gets narrow about here. Again, it gets wider again. This radius is just sort of how the pavers are going to, the border of the footpath is going to join in to the driveway. Okay, you know, this is what I'm calling the footpath. The footpath, because of this angle that's already been cast into that concrete, that dust. The, uh, I wanted to follow that straight line there. And it's going to have a bit of a radius here around the corner of the house on the inside. This will also be a bit of a radius. It'll be two radiuses. It'll be one coming from down and then to the right. And then it'll bend over again down, uh, I guess, to the left and then following this piece.
Now it took uh, about six hours to do this, and this is not the final level. I screened this course, relatively coarse stuff. I'll have to compact this and then uh, put it down some bedding sand or something really fine that'll screed out really nice. That'll be what the bricks go on to, the pavers. <laughs> 